Hey everyone, my name's Dora. Today I'm gonna show you how to make these darling cupcake bath bombs. These cupcakes are eye candy. They are so pretty. I used Be Enchanted fragrance oil. It's a sweet scent with light floral notes. Sugary sweet, not bakery rich sweet. It matched the cupcakes perfectly and they smelled amazing. I only used like a few drops of pink. I wish I would have added more color to the cupcakes, but at that time, I didn't even know what kind of cupcakes that I wanted to make. Use any mold that you want, but I would suggest using a hard and sturdy mold. They're much easier to mold with and more likely that your cupcake will stay whole and won't crumble apart. Anytime that you're using a mold with one side, pack it as tight as possible and always make the top as flat as possible. This will reduce cracking and crumbling. Here I'm checking for stiff peaks. I was excited to have any peaks at all at this point, but I knew they weren't stiff enough. So I added the last of the sugar and then one fourth cup of cornstarch and the icing became so thick that I couldn't mix it anymore. So I figured at that point it had to be done. And it was, thank God. This part was so much fun. It brought back a lot of memories of my mom and I baking. She used to always bake and clean and then let me do the fun creative part which was the icing and decorating. The icing begins to dry as soon as it's piped so place glitter, sprinkles, decorations immediately after piping.
Always grab your least pretty cupcake to start. You'll notice that your icing gets easier and prettier with each cupcake. But if you mess up, just take it off and start over. This is from an earlier failed batch, but I was relieved to know that the icing could come right off if I messed up. After all the issues with this bomb, I actually busted out laughing when the icing tops fell off. I think I laughed because it was such an easy problem to fix, comparatively speaking, and maybe because I was a bit delirious. I don't know why. I just found it really funny. After you put the icing over the soap, it's not going anywhere. So I tried to reposition one and it would not budge. If you make these cupcakes, this is how to perfectly wrap them where there's no extra material. And you don't have to worry about hurting the icing, it is harder than a rock. These bombs came out so adorable and cute, the icing ordeal was worth it 10 times over. They smelled amazing too. Thanks for joining me. If you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're interested in this project, please read the description. You'll find helpful tips in the supply list at the bottom. And if you're interested in more creative DIYs, you should subscribe. Don't miss out on weekly videos featuring fresh ideas and fun bath projects.